Dear students, we have reached our final chapter of Business 123 Introduction to Investments, and we saved the best for last. Because when it comes to investments, the ultimate investment is starting a business. And of course, like real estate, that's a whole course unto itself. But we hope to pique your interest because starting a business is definitely not for everyone. No doubt. So, let's get started. The most profitable investment anyone can make is starting a business. It is also one of the riskiest investments anyone can make. You've heard the statistics. 50% of businesses fail in the first year. 80% of businesses fail in the first five years. And 100% of businesses fail in the first 10,000 years. Look, folks. The truth is that no one knows the failure rate of small businesses because no one, not even the IRS, knows how many small businesses there are. Another truth is, is that many small business owners often fail two or three times until they succeed. And when you talk to business owners, they often will say things like, well, I, I couldn't be an employee. I just couldn't do it. And then some might start a side business, especially now they call them side hustles. And, you know, you might become very successful and it might not become very successful. You don't know. You just don't know. It's one of the riskiest investments you can make, but it's also potentially the most profitable business you can make. The cool thing is, folks, is that there are tremendous resources out there for you. Why? Because small business is the backbone of our economy. You know, obviously, you know, we hear all about the big corporations all the time, and we invest in their stocks, they're publicly traded. You can't really like it. You could invest in the pizza shop down the street, but it's a little dicey, don't you think? But still, these are the businesses that make up the backbone of our economy. So what we find is that there are many organizations uh, that are there to help you. So don't go it alone. One of the best groups is SCORE, the Service Corps of Retired Executives. And these are people who have done it before, right, or are still doing it. They want to help you. And I love it in some of the presentations they give. They'll try to scare you. They'll do what I did. You know, who you thinks you makes you think you're going to succeed? Okay, you're going to fail in the first five years, whatever years. And then um, everybody leaves who's scared. And they go, okay, with the folks who are remaining, let's get started. <laughs> They're a great group. And luckily, we have a local um, chapter of SCORE, but they're all over the place. Kiva is a worldwide peer-to-peer -peer lending organization which can help with uh, microloans and the like to get started. The same thing about, same thing with Accessity, which used to be called Accion San Diego. But be careful, don't go to Accion San Diego's website anymore because now it's turned into a phishing, uh, a scam, some scam uh, organization grabbed the website. So now it's accessity. And then, of course, there's the mother load, the small business development centers all around the country, which are sponsored by the feds, but run locally. And Southwestern Community College hosts the South San Diego Small Business Development Center. And then there's one for North County also. At our national city campus, we have many um, uh, seminars and workshops and the like. Most all of them are free. And before COVID, you might have seen me there because I just love to go there and, uh, and watch them and, and take them in. So um, check them out, obviously. And then don't forget Southwestern Community College, Business 120, Introduction to Investments, Business 140, Business Law, 
Business 145, a phenomenal one unit class just to get people to understand that they're supposed to, although a lot of people don't, <laughs> keep track of their their um, um, their uh, you know receipts and the like. You know, you're supposed to write everything down or type it into your computer or your cell phone. Yeah. And um, you know, for what it's worth. You may want to consider franchising because although you the potential to make as much money may not be as great as starting from scratch your own business, it turns out that franchises, franchisees and franchises, uh, businesses survive longer statistically. So because you got the support of the organization, and of course, they don't want you to fail because that's where they're getting their money. So you have to be... So you're sharing, you know, some of your profits with with um, with with the uh, franchise company. Just stay away from Subway, okay? They 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 treat, they treat their 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 stores pretty poorly, but others no, not at all. And what you'll find when you get into the business world is that you will start to surround yourself with people who who are also business owners, and you you learn from them and. It, it's it's an exciting world, in my humble opinion. Um, I love it, of course. I'm not biased. <laughs> right? And the weird, strange thing that, that happens is that you find that a lot of these people come from families where the parents or the uncles and aunts and the cousins and the like, they are business owners also. So it seems to run in a family, and who knows if it's nature or nurture, is it the genes or just the, where they grew up? That doesn't mean if, if nobody in your family's ever started a business, you shouldn't, but it's just very um, uncanny that way, that, that people who start businesses or business owners often, um, you know, they, they come from families where it's just very prevalent. And then there are the opportunities where you find somebody who's about ready to retire and their kids don't really want to do anything with the business. You know, they've become teachers or, or firefighters or whatever they've done. And so they got to sell their business now. So if it's a business that you're interested in, uh, you could say, look, I'm, I want to learn the ropes. I'm, I want to get in this business. And eventually, I would be interested in purchasing it. And so, you know, that's a good way. Plus, you learn, you have your eyes wide open. Because there are horror stories of people who thought they knew what they were doing, bought a bicycle shop, they loved bicycles, but they never ran, they never worked in a bicycle shop. Or the worst example, this is many years ago, but the woman who loved flowers and wanted to own a flower shop someday, and, you know, saved up and put her life savings into a flower shop and then realized that it was one thing to bring home flowers once a week and put them in your vase and look at them, but another thing to be around flowers all day long, and she was allergic to them. <laughs> yeah, so learn the business first before you commit, in my humble opinion. But again, there are just tremendous resources. Don't go alone. We want you to succeed. And that, dear students, is Business 123, Introduction to Investments. We are incredibly proud and grateful and honored and happy that you have stuck with us this far. You, the words can't express it express our, our pride and the like. So let's go back to the very beginning. <laughs> I love the start at the end and end at the start. It is a gloomy moment in history. Never has the future seemed so dark and incalculable. The United States is beset with racial, industrial, and commercial chaos drifting we know not where of our troubles. No one can see the end. I think you remember... When was this said? 1847 in the very influential Harper's Magazine at the time. Well, I'd like to end with a different perspective. 
It is a fortunate moment in history. Never has the future seemed so bright and promising. The United States is the most racially diverse, industrially strong, and commercially prosperous nation in the history of the world. Of our continued success, no one can see the end. Now, who said this? Huh? Who do you think? Me! <laughs> now, dear students, I'm the luckiest guy in the world to be able to um, host this class and be your instructor. We wish you the best of success in whatever you do. Keep in touch. Um, we love to hear how our students are doing success, successes. You're going to have more successes if you follow the precepts, see the concepts, and the and the um, the the. the the techniques and skills that we learned, yeah, you're going to have some, don't worry, you're going to, you're going to make some mistakes, everybody does, but um, remember, you're going to do, um, you're not going to get rich quickly if you follow our, 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 our techniques, but unless the world ends, I, I think you're going to do well, especially if you're young. I'm very optimistic about the global economy over the next 20, 30, 40 years, I'm deathly afraid of the political situation, so we have to become more, um, more involved citizens of the world, I believe, in my humble opinion. But in either case, no matter what, we wish you the best of success. We thank you so much for being in our class, and you know how I'm going to end, right? No matter what you do in this crazy, scary joyful, absurd, bizarre, absurd a, a, a journey that we call life, this adventure. Don't give up. Never give up. Thank you so much for being in our class, dear, dear students.